98 to 64 by 13, uh, 98, 99, 86 by 13 points. They went one and one. Francis Marion's 0 and 2. So we get the national anthem. Mayor, here we are back in the Clemente Center, and well, this is a big game here, uh, that's for sure. The Panthers, would, uh, what are they, uh, nine and one or ten and one? Ten now, and yeah. one, actually. Yeah, I noticed they were off uh, for both teams. They're off uh, their one. Yeah, and they were in three and four, right? I think are they two and two and four? Okay. So here they go, the announcements already, and he's getting it started. Number 20 is uh, McCants Wilson, and he's a tough guy. He likes to penetrate. Number 21 is uh, Gene uh, Matthew, 6'4", a junior out of Fort Pierce. Number 23, Marcel Hawkins, 6'5", 200-pounder from Columbus, Georgia. Number 31 is Victor Shell. He's 6'7". He's a heck of a player. <laughs> A senior out of Memphis, and then their big guy is Jerry Hampton, 6'8", 220, sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee. They're coached by William Anderson, assisted by Daquan Nesbitt, Fernando Clark, and William Carter, and they are two and four. Here come the Panthers. And they get here by a one-point win over Francis Marion. So we're getting the music started, and uh, we can't get uh, Lemoyne Owen off the field. And it's Chris Carter, number three, and you know his average, 21 points a game or so, a little better than that, maybe. And a ton of assists. Number four, Jermaine Jackson, about 20 points a game. And the post-game dance has been his new ritual. And number five is Corbin Jackson, averaging better than 16 points a game. Two triple-doubles this year, including last night. Akeem Johnson, we call him AJ, and he plays all over the court, and his defensive is his strategy. And never makes a bad play. And at 6'9", the center, David Uchik, he's averaging seven points a game and five rebounds. Croatian. But the big rebounder is Corbin Jackson. There you go. A Croatian sensation there, David Uchik. Billy Mims in uh, ninth season, uh, winning his coach in the history, Edgar Zaglitas, along with DeMario Robinson and Julius Reed, and they are 10 and one, trying to go 11 and one and then get ready for the conference in January the 4th when they go on the road against St. Leo. Well, you know, they're never gonna forget that loss, but a win today, and that loss will be far enough behind them that they can uh, they can feel like that they're really on a roll again and, and, uh, and in position for a super duper year. All right, it looks like it's gonna be Uchik will be jumping. Uh, is he gonna be jumping against their big guy or their second guy? Looks like it's it's maybe Shell is going to be jumping against uh, Uchi. I don't know. I think Corbin yeah, Jackson. It could be Corbin Jackson in there. So the two big guys are standing outside and letting the uh, smaller ones do a little jumping. Ball tipped around. It's picked up by Uchi. Here's Carter. Takes it in. Outside. Jermaine Jackson. Back out to Carter. That's A.J. A thought about it. Takes it in the paint. Up. No good. Rebound goes off to Hawkins. And down the court they come. So the Panthers missed on that effort. 
Ball almost, he was tripped up, but uh, nobody got anything called. So outside it is uh, McCants Wilson. He likes to penetrate though. And they're gonna take a long three and wow, drilled it and that's Matthew. Hey guys. Four guys over there in the corner in the stands going nuts for him, and it's uh, three nothing magicians. Yeah, right. They got that big three, and their possession went right quite well for them. I know the Panthers have got their hands full with this effort, and they knocked the ball out of bounds, and their big guy got out there and put a little pressure on them. So Carter were triggered in, and we still got 22 seconds on the shot clock to get it into Jermaine Jackson. He goes over to Chris Carter. He's going to shoot a three of his own. That's off a little bit, and the rebound goes off to McCants Wilson. Down the court they come. Hawkins got a little away from him. They're going to shoot that. Oh, my. And Hampton throws it in there. It's a five to nothing lead. And Lemoyne Owen came in there and said, we're going to try to take this thing. We've seen a lot of big to nothing leads here today. We don't want to see another one on the wrong end of it. Right, we saw that earlier. Outside it goes, here's Jermaine Jackson. Chris Carter is gonna shoot the three, he's gonna miss it. Rebound, picked up by Hawkins. Down the court they go, and I mean quickly down the court, up and no good, rebound Uchik. They've been partially blocked by Jackson. Down it goes Corbin. to AJ, it goes Corbin, and he is. My goodness, that was a big foul there by Victor Shell, and I think he got the worst end of that deal. He did. It was, I was afraid neither were going to get up quickly. It was good to see Corbin Jackson pop up there, and unfortunately, both guys didn't come out of that, but they were both way up. I think Victor Shell got kind of wrapped into a lot of pretzel formation there before he hit the ground. I think his arm got behind him a little bit. Yeah, and they, uh, you see Corbin Jackson over there. Yeah, it's uh, they're going to bring the trainer out and take a look, and uh, he's still staying down there. And uh, of course, the Lemoyne got out to a uh, five nothing lead already, and so they're going to give a little time to look him over. It's 18 11 to go here in the first half, and uh, we're going to wait and see what happens there. We're getting our trainer coming down there as well. Yeah, that, uh, I thought he got twisted around a little bit there, and uh, Victor Shell is 6'7", 180-pound senior, and he's got a, he's, uh, he's moving around a little bit, though, and, and, you know, he just could be stretched a little in the wrong direction. That can happen. We saw him make several impressive plays on alley-oop dunk uh, yesterday and, and get up with another slam after that. And I think he's holding his right shoulder, and I thought that I, I saw him hold that before he went down, too. You know, so the bing bang play with two guys way above the rim, each, you know, trying to make an athletic play, and both of them hit the floor hard, as I said. And if you're watching on the video, as you saw, it's, I'm surprised both guys didn't get hurt, but. Yeah, Corbin came out of there in a hurry, but Corbin was going for the slam dunk, and. Uh, they weren't going to have any part of that. No, I, I think, I'm thinking the upper portion of his body is the problem, and uh, he's up now and uh, moving around pretty smartly right now. Hey, it looks to be all right. Uh, now they're going to have a better word. They're yeah. putting 34 in there. Nafe, Nafe Tour is coming in the lineup, and Corbin's at the free throw line. Two free throws coming. This is going to be a tough game because they came out fired up. And Jackson's free throw is in there, and it's 5-1. to one. At least we didn't go 10 minutes without scoring. So. No, yeah. We saw that happen a couple of times today. And he missed that free throw, and the big guy, uh, Nafe Tour, gets it. Panthers are putting a little bit of pressure on here and kind of trap a little bit. They love doing that, and they're good at it. Look at that. They threw it into the scores table. Wow. So they turn it over, and that made a difference. 17.59 to go here in the first half. And the Panthers are trailing 5-1. to one. 
Chris Carter's got it. He's picked up there by McCants Wilson. Backdoor lob, there it is. Oh, nice catch. Jermaine had it out there. Uchik gets it back, and he's being uh, aggravated. He throws it up. Oh, oh, it went in, but it's not going to count. No, it's on the floor, I think. And they get the foul on uh, 34, uh, Nafe Tour. So they get two fouls, and it's still five to one. They get it into Jackson as it blocked out of bounds. So the big guy blocked it out of bounds. He's still jumping. Yeah, nobody went to get the ball. Matt Hawkins going to get it. He's going to get it for us. You don't want to use up your, your hops too early, though. Yeah, yeah he Don't was, jump to celebrate. He's a big 6'8", too. Yes, he is. He's as big as our 6'9 guy. Carter's got it outside. Jermaine's going to shoot a three, and he's going to miss it. Ball goes outside to Hawkins. Panthers are not in the sink right now, and things are a little cool. Five to one. Lemoyne Owen over the Panthers. They've got the ball. 17-20 to go here in the first half. Somebody foul inside, and it's going to be against Lemoyne Owen. Yeah, and Corbin Jackson knew right away. I don't know what he did, but... It's I think go. that's a second foul on Nafe. It is. It's a second foul on the tour, and I don't know what he did, but it must have been something because Corbin knew it right away as soon as the whistle blew. Yep. So they got three fouls right away, and we're at the 17-10 mark. Jermaine outside. He's trying to get it into the paint, and he does get it into the paint. Shot up and a charge. Well, There's nothing there. You can't go in there. Yeah, there was all kinds of bodies in there, no room to run. So Panthers still looking for the first field goal three minutes in. Yep, and that's one thing we'll keep an eye on. Here comes McCants Wilson. Long pass all the way across the court to Matthew, and the ball almost turned over. He gets it back, dishes it off, picked up by Corbin. It gets it out to A.J. Down it goes to Jermaine, up and in, and it's 5-3. Panthers trail by two. So they get the first field goal there, and only down by two points. They're trying to put a little pressure on them outside, and they don't get it done this time. Hawkins takes it in, shot up, good. That was a nice move. Spin around to get semi open in the lane and get a uh, get a little five foot floater. Seven to three, Lemoyne over the Panthers. They get it out to Uchik. Uchik gets it back outside to AJ. That. Here's Corbin outside. Takes it into the paint and loses it, but picked up by Carter. Uchik's little runner is no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by the big guy, Nafe Tour. We got a yep. timeout. Yeah, it's 7-3 to three with 15.58 to go. The Panthers are down four. They'll have the ball, though, when we get back. It's Mercedes-Benz Porsche of Audi. There's where you get the finest automobiles manufactured in the world. They're selling them down there and to make a good deal for you. Maverick Multimedia, Space Coast Daily, Carabas Italian Grill. We love Italian food and Broken Barrel Tavern. We love that as well. Berman, Hopkins, Wright, and Liam. They are a CPA consulting firm. It is that time of year. BISC education, they do give an educational advantage to the institution, and the Panthers are down 7-3 to three here early. Yes. They will have the ball, though, when we come out here because they knocked it out of bounds. Well, the Magicians, you know, sat and watched that second game yesterday and saw a lot of what the Panthers did, and they came out here with energy and, and ready to take a punch or to give a punch maybe even. But can they keep that energy up? We will see. Well, their basic of their game is inside. Uh, and uh, and even their guards, you know, love to penetrate. So uh, they have made one out of one threes, and we've shot three of them and haven't made any. We're shooting 14%. Not good. They're shooting 75. And that is good. Yeah, we're just one of seven. And you think that will change, you hope. You hope it will, or they're going to get their second loss here against a, a very good ball club that played some tough competition and came here with a deceiving record. 
Here's Carter with it outside. They go on to Corbin on the baseline. He's had it blocked, blocked by Hawkins. And double and triple team him when he touches it. Here's Hawkins takes it all the way down and he trips and falls out of bounds going the other way. I'm not sure what that was. Did he slip? Yeah, I don't know what happened, but he, uh, well, he slipped, that's for sure. He looked like he's going into third base. Yeah, and he was out. <laughs> Not safe. They go to Jermaine. Jermaine has it up and in, and he no, traveled. No. Oh, they took it away from him. He made that ball anyway, too. Well, the offense has come out quite flat here. That was a very good move there, but it said he traveled. That well, was too good. They're still trapping up here, and they're throwing it all the way across to get away from that trap, and back it goes the other way to McCants. Wilson. They're still putting a lot of pressure on him. He wants to penetrate, though, and not shoot it out there. They get it to Hawkins. Turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It's going the Panthers' way. That's lucky, I think. I think so, too. Hawkins should have passed that because he had two guys crashing toward the basket, and instead he tried to take the 12-foot uh, jumper. Pass goes down this time. Jermaine's going to shoot a three. He's going to miss it. Uchik with the rebound out. AJ's going to shoot a three, and he's going to miss it. Rebound, Corbin Jackson outside. It's Uchik on the baseline. He's going to make it. Good job by Florida Tech hitting the boards. We know Corbin Jackson can do it, and uh, he makes it pay off. They're only down by two. 14 and a half minutes to go. First half, it's seven to five. And it's stolen away by Uchik. Oh, he oh. it away. Well, he had a chance there, and he threw it just too far, and he said, it's my fault. Uh, yeah, that was, he didn't really have to say that. I think everybody, <laughs> knew we all knew that, I think, but uh, had the right idea because yeah. they were going for the lay-in. They got 22 in there, and we know what Timothy Ware does. Timothy Ware likes to take it inside. That's all he wants to do. Yeah, he's not much of a shooter from the outside. And he will penetrate and then look to dish. 5'10", a couple hundred pounds, and here he goes. He gets it inside the big guy, and he's blocked, and the blocking foul is going on. Is it that Corbin? A, if it is, yes. that may be his second. I think it's his first. first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jermaine had the other foul. Yeah. And they're going to put the big guy at the free throw line, that being uh, Jerry Hampton shooting two. He's practicing it already. He's a legitimate center, that's for sure. Yep. Free throw up, it's good. It's eight to five. Lemoyne over Florida Tech. We're 14.03 to go here in the first half. Things are not going exactly like the Panthers had it planned. Not yet. Not yet. He made them both. Florida Tech with still only two field goals here after six minutes. Down they go to Jermaine Jackson, and the press hadn't done anything yet. The ball knocked out of bounds, though, and it's going to belong to the Panthers. So they put a little, not only did they press down there, they keep on pressing. And there's 23 on the shot clock. Here comes Chris Carter. They're going to pick him up right away, and that's the McHenry's in there, and he's picking up Carter. Here's Carter on the baseline all the way out to Jermaine. Oh. Jermaine was going to shoot it. Yeah. This time a little fall away jumper, and he's got it. Bang. Got to get him going, and then good things happen for everybody. Nine to seven. They're, all they got there in the, in the lineup also is uh, Mitchell Fields. We know what he likes to do. Here it's picked off there by A.J. Goes to Jermaine. Jermaine's going to shoot a three. He drills it. Well, when he's on, he's on. He's like Morton Salt when it rains and pours. And it's 10 to 9. Panthers up at 13.05 to go here in the first half. Ball knocked away, stolen away. Here it goes down to Chris Carter. Up and Ooh. he's fouled. He's going to the free throw line. And the foul's going on McHenry. I think Florida Tech found their mojo here somewhere. 
So the Panthers are up 10 to 9 at the 12.58 mark, and Chris Carter at the free throw line, where he'll have two shots. 12.58 to go first half. Concentration's the name of the game, and he's short. <laughs> And they're bringing in 42. We know who that is, Dimba Kunate. Also He's six foot nine. Also six foot four, Gene Matthew into the game. He returns. She was a starter. Here's Carter. Free throw missed them both oh. badly. Short. Not happy with himself on that. So they're still trying to do a little press. This time it didn't work for him as they go all the way down. Shot up, no good, oh, and uh, Jackson had it. Jackson had it, and he let him get right in yep. there and take it away from him. Got to box out a little bit better. And they get the lead, 11 to 10. We can't allow offensive boards against this ball club. They're, they're too good inside. They go to... Oh, and, no foul. And no foul, and this time they do get Konate. And they're going to get it on A.J. He's going to the free throw line. Corbin Jackson got slammed to the ground. He's over there listening to his coach, though. He's, uh, he likes to listen to his coach because he thinks the ability gives him the right direction. Here's A.J.'s free throw up, but it's not good. Yeah, it's oh, it hit the back and went in. It wasn't good there, I know that. Mm, Hit nope. the back and bounced up and had a little English on it and fell right back in. Now I'm going to call this one good in the air. Good. <laughs> it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either, I think. Well, it's 12 to 11. The Panthers back in there. 12, 15 to go. Here's Hawkins with it, and he's double teamed and having a little trouble with it. He gives it to Kunate. He's double teamed. Long pass, it goes over, and now Hawkins thought about it. Now they're going to shoot a long three. It's short. Ball knocked around and out of bounds and picked up by Carter. Oops. Long pass down to Uchik. Slam. Oh, it. it. Boy, when the, when the Panthers are playing defense like that, it almost seems like there's seven or eight guys out there with great jerseys. 14 to 11, the Panthers was down five, and now they're up by three. They take it in the paint, and he dishes it off. It's blocked. And the ball knocked out of bounds. It's going the Panthers' way. And Billy said he was fouled, and he said, no, I'm going to give you the ball. You don't want to be fouled anyway. You know, I think you're right, because that looked like it went off Corbin Jackson, but he was getting hacked. 11.34 to go in the first half. Panthers surge to a three-point lead. It's 14 to 11. Coca-Cola, which you and I use all the time. Hooters of Melbourne, what a great place that is to go. Health First, individual and family health services. Jersey Mike subs, which we dined on, and it's a great thing. So I'm going to use this as a marker for I keep forgetting where I'm going about half the time here on this. So uh, next one is right there. Panthers took a while to get going, but they uh, kind of gotten into a flow. You see Billy Mims huddle there, and Joss right in the middle of it, and yeah. he's going to be a coach. He's already learning right now. Uh, he may, the way, as much as he's been in there, he might be able to coach next year. Panthers are out rebounding them 10 to 8 right now. The turnovers, they have six, we have three. They're shooting 40%. We're shooting 33, a little better than that 14 we had. Yeah. And we're still one out of five. They're one out of two from the threes. And they're two out of two at the free throw line. We're three out of six. So we're about ready to get back into the action here. And the ball is going to belong to uh, the Panthers. So they're uh, looking for everybody to be around, and they're putting a little pressure on the Panthers, and I'm not seeing the pressure work that well against uh, Florida Tech not this yet. year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, seen. my. Jermaine Jackson for three. He missed it. Rebound goes to the big guy, Hampton. Well, that's what the pressure does. Leaves a wide open Jermaine Jackson. We'll take it every time. If he'd have made that, they'd have pulled that press off. And you don't want this guy shooting. That's Mitchell Fields. He can light it up. And here's Hampton way outside, and he got the good bounce. It's a two. It's a long two. 
to get it over to AJ. Long pass goes down to Jermaine. This time he's not going to shoot it. Carter takes it down off to Uchik, up and in. Good move for the big guy. Yeah, and just good ball movement overall. And when they press and you move the ball like that, it's going to end up as easy baskets for Florida Tech. They double team him over there and they get out of it, though. Somebody's under the basket, and they still want to go in and up and in, and I told you, you cannot let him penetrate, Timothy Ware. That's all he wants to do. That's all he wants to do, and I think a couple of Panthers saw that other help coming. It goes over to Carter. Carter outside. Back it goes to A.J. In the corner is Jermaine. It's 16 to 15, Panthers. They go to Uchik. He loses it. That wasn't a great pass. No, it wasn't. Too much traffic in there, and somebody's got to stop him, and he pushes somebody away and goes in again, and they're going to call him for a turnover. Traveling, yep. He was in there a little bit out of control. He had his arm out <laughs> going in. <laughs> yeah, he had the, uh, what do they call that, the, on the thing on the front of a train? That yeah, the big cattle catcher. There you go. <laughs> and this time it was the arm catcher. Mm-hmm. They go to Jermaine. Jermaine right there at center court and has a little trouble with it. Now he get it over to A.J. Back it goes to Chris Carter. A.J. outside. Carter's now over to Jermaine. He's going to shoot a three. It's short. Mm. Rebound goes off to Matthew. Jermaine hit two in a row earlier. Thought I had him going, but still struggling a little bit from the floor and outside it is Matthew and they go inside to the big guy and he puts it up oh my right over Jackson and right over Uchik too and they got the lead again 17 to 16 925 to go down in the corner it goes to Uchik back outside goes to Carter Panthers try to set it up top of the key they go to AJ and they kick it out of bounds Looks like they're going to zone us a little bit here. Uh, no, no, they're going to no. see if Panthers can make it outside. That's a good question. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 9.13 to play in the first half. And they bring back in McCann, Wilson, and take out Ware. Panthers. Panthers got the ball and trying to get back into the lead here. They have not made a lineup change yet. Florida Tech hasn't. Here the ball is again, and it's going over to Chris Carter. He's going to shoot a three, and he's not going to make it. Whoops. Rebound Jackson, picked up by Uchik, out oh. goes to Carter. Back out, Jermaine's going to shoot a three. He's going to miss it Boy, again. Short again. And a foul is going on Carter. Hey, what, Jermaine Jackson, I mean, he's shooting it straight. It's just coming up short. And he's coming out, and Derek Pope's coming in. So Jackson takes a seat, Jermaine that is, and uh, Pope's in there. His dad and mom are here to see him. They're going to be driving him out of here you know, tomorrow and taking him back home for the holidays. Balls uh, flipped around outside, and Lemoyne has the lead. Here is Kunate, and he has a little trouble. They take it in off the glass. No good. Torben is up there, and a foul. And who is going to get it this time? I think it's Konate. Maybe. We'll see. And Corbin's walking away, and it's a good thing because I think any action in his part right now would have caused some retali retaliation on the official because he came with some elbows that time. Well, he's getting poked and hacked, and, I mean, he, he gets frustrated, and that's a lot of it's what it's meant to do to him, frustrate him and uh, get him to do something stupid. And Kanate picked up his second foul, and he has to take a seat. That's the sixth team foul. Long pass all the way down to Jackson. It goes up to Uchik. Oh! That's the way to beat it. That's Instead of taking that three out there, go ahead and lob it into Uchik. That's right. The, the two guys that can jump the high as well, two of the guys that can jump pretty high down there on one end, that's the thing to do. Here it is on the baseline. They get it. Oh, it almost was picked off by A.J. They take it inside. Oh, a finger roll. Look no good. Jackson. And Jackson again. Wow. He goes up in between everybody and somehow comes down with it. Here it is. Corbin takes it in the paint. Oh, wow. Excuse me. I got to throw something down right here. Wow. Did he take that thing all the way from the free throw line? He left it. And it's 2017 Panthers, and they're still putting the pressure on. They steal it away. 
And a foul is going on LeMoyne, I think. And Pope was right in the middle of it. That's right. He's the one fighting for it. And like I said, LeMoyne Owen comes out with a big punch and all the energy, but that goes flat. And then you're all of a sudden, the momentum is going the other way in a big hurry. 7.34 to go. The first half. Panthers are up 20 to 17. The crowd got excited. National so Management to Resources, they keep your institution running smooth. Dean Mead, attorneys at law, you need legal advice. I recommend them. Bright, Bright House Networks, that's what Paul Van Scott and I have in our house, and we're happy with that service. Matt's Casbar, what a great place to go right down in downtown Melbourne, a great place to go. Derek, and the Hellmans are here, Derek Hellman and his parents. Uh, well, Derek had a big accident, and he worked out at uh, out at Bay Tree and was using a chainsaw. It got away from him. Uh, 70 stitches in his leg. You never like to hear a story that starts out like that. 70 uh. stitches. Uh, although it cut right across the muscle, he seems to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, he was he, on crutches for a while. Yeah, he's getting around pretty good right now, and good to see him here. All right, the scoring here is Uchik with eight points and seven Jermaine Jackson. Corbin uh, has got five rebounds already. Wow. Panthers only shooting 36.4%, but it's done enough to have the lead by three. And who's got the ball? I think we do. And I think the Pope's going to be shooting free throws one and one. Yep. Normally speaking, he's a good free throw shooter at about 93%. Let's see if he is right now. He's only missed a couple about all year, I think. Free throw up, and it's good. 21-17, Panthers by four. We're still setting at 7.34 to go in the first half. Second free throw, and he made them both. Well, no wonder he's 90-some-odd percent. Yeah. Surprise. Here they go. They get it in the hands, though, of McCants Wilson. Back and forth they throw in that ball because uh, McHenry don't want to get caught in that. Here is. Well, it's oh, blocked again. Oh. They come out with it. They give it off to Carter. Here's Carter down the court. A.J. back outside to Carter. Over it goes Pope. Baseline back out again. Now they go to. Corbin Jackson, he takes it inside, and oh, they come on. goaltending for sure. That's just ridiculous. I mean, you need to be pulled out of the game for something like that because that's just letting your emotions get a hold of you, waiting obviously on its way down. You just want to give the other team a free basket. Go ahead. I don't know if it was going or not. Yeah, I think it might have been. It, it looked, was. looked good. 24-17, Panthers by seven. We're under seven minutes to go, and they put Ware back in there again, and there he goes doing his thing. Wow. He cannot let him do that. That's two times he's done that. And that was the report we had, and we saw it before. He loves to penetrate five-point ball game. Yeah, and he's only 5'10". He's not going to be jumping real high. About 200 pounds, though. I'd say. He's trying to guard Carter outside. Here's Polk for three, and he missed it. Rebound goes to A.J. Back out, it goes to Carter. Panthers get another go at it. It goes to Uchik outside. Oh, they throw it away, and, and somebody push. is fouling and holding somebody. It's where, it's where he pushed Carter just as that pass was in the air and gets called for the push, so Chris Carter will shoot a one-and-one. One. Chris Carter just missed two free throws, short on both ends, and uh, we'll see if he is adjusted to that. 6-11 to go. The Panthers are up by five. Here's that free throw up, and this one's short as well, but it rolls in. 25-19. Seven's our biggest lead. They've had a five-point lead. Right. And that free throw's a little better. And we're back up to that seven-point lead again. Here's Ware with it. And uh, Ware is going to try to take it in the paint. Now, when he beats that press, somebody's got to go in there and stop him. Here's a long three, no good. Rebound, Jackson. Jackson. It goes off to Carter. Here comes Carter down the court. He takes it up. No good. Holy 
is Saltz. Down the court they come. It's AJ, and he's aggravating him, but they get a dunk on the other end. Look at this. Long pass goes down to Carter. It goes to Uchik up, and he missed it, and they tip it out of bounds. Wow. 5.37 to go first half. 26-21 Panthers by five. They'll have it under their own basket. Wow. You get your money's worth when you come watch Florida Tech play this year. Uchik outside. He gets it to Pope. Carter's going to shoot a three, and he's going to miss it. Rebound goes to Hampton, and he got it in a hurry. Oh. Pass down the court. They go up with it. Blocked by Uchik. What did he wait so long for? If Hampton had gone right up... Or Hawkins has gone right up. I think he'd have had an easy one. He's waiting for the 6'9 Uchi to get around there, and he shouldn't have done it. And he found him. They get it to Pope. Pope goes down to the right. They go to Uchi on the baseline. He takes it up, shot up. That's gone. Blocked out of opening. bounds. Now yeah, they get him a good block on this one. Here it goes, and he takes it up and puts it right in there. That is Mitchell Fields. And the game is close, 26-23. We're under five minutes to go. They headed up to seven. They've had four unanswered on us. They get it to Uchik. Over to Corbin. Will he drive? No, Pope's got it. Pope's outside, and he's going to just pop and jump, and it's no good. He got his own rebound. He gets it off the hole. Here's Carter for three. Will he make it? Yes. 29-23, Panthers by six. We're at the 420 mark, first half. They're aggravating him out there, and yeah, they push off a little, yeah. get away with that. Outside it goes Hawkins, and he runs. That's got to be, it's a block. I don't believe it. Wow, you just don't know anymore. You almost don't even want to try to take a charge. Second foul on Corbin Jackson. He's just standing there, and they ran over him, and now we're going to see Cameron stall in because four minutes to go, you don't want to get that third foul. No, yeah, he's going to be done for the half, probably. 29-23 Panthers at the free throw line is Marcel Hawkins, 6'5", 200-pounder, and he's every inch of it. Free throw up, and it is good. Cut it lead down to, uh, what, five? Yeah. And if they put that point up there, they like to aggravate us and not put it up. Here comes the second free throw. It's up, and it's good as well. And I think it's now it's 29-25. It's a four-point ball game. Uchik's got it. And he's going to have trouble. to dribble out of there. And he throws it away. Wow, and oh. they double dribble it and get away with that one. Long pass outside. They're going to shoot a three. It's short. Rebound goes to A.J. Off it goes to Carter, and they got the right guy handling now. Yep. Carter on the baseline, and they try to take it away from him, and, oh, they're getting real rambunctious with him. A little bit. He takes it in the paint, shot up, no good, tips it up, and it's oh! That's a way to make him pay. 31-25, six-point lead Panthers, 3.20 to go. They throw it all the way across. Now it goes down, and Hawkins, and, oh, well, that was a little easy there. Mitchell Fields put it up there and got it back to four points, 31-27. We're approaching the three-minute mark of the first half. So uh, we went a little bigger ourselves. We got two six nines in there now. A.J. kicks it out. This time Pope has it. Out it goes to A.J. Pope outside. They get it off to Uchik. Back it goes Chris Carter. Going to shoot a three. It's no good. Rebound Hampton. Well, he got that with no trouble. Yeah, he's long pass down to Mitchell's field. You cannot let him shoot it. They get away with that one, and Stahl comes out with it and gives it to Carter. Two and a half minutes to go. It's still the Panthers by four. But LeMoyne Owen came to play this basketball game. Robert Ruth getting set to check in. They go to Stahl. Stahl's up. His shot up, and it is good. Wow. Cameron Stahl. 
And it's a six point ball game. We have 33 27. And Stahl took it right to Hampton yeah. that time. Double pump fakes. Here it goes again. Hawkins takes it in. A little floater. It's no good. They get the rebound. Mitchell Field back up and in. And where's Carbon? He said two fouls on the bench. Yeah, they're getting too many rebounds. Somebody else has got to hit the boards. 33 29. Carter gets it off to Uchik. Back it goes to Carter. There's the there lob. There goes the lob. And Uchik reverse lay in, tips it up and in himself. Six point lead again and a minute and a half to go. 35 29. This two and four ball club from Lemoyne is not what you would expect. Hawkins takes it in, reverse lay in, no good. Rebound AJ. He's got numbers. He's got the numbers. It is pulled yeah. up and they're gonna out call him for traveling. Yeah, it's a good no. call. <laughs> 116 to go. It's 35-29. We're gonna take a timeout. Old school pizza, which we have up here right now. Courtyard Melbourne West and Residence in Melbourne and the Hilton Melbourne Beach Oceanfront. Hilton Melbourne Rialto Place, SCB Media Group and Southern Janitor Supply. So the Panthers still got a six point lead and Pope got called for the traveling, yikes. Yeah, I think it was a good call. It looked like he took an extra half step. So 35-29, the Panthers got down by five, and then all of a sudden they've uh, turned things around a little bit and uh, hanging in there. Seven was their biggest lead. Ten points for Uchik already. He's come to play four rebounds. Yeah, and five of nine shooting. And uh, AJ's got six rebounds as well, and that's six rebounds for Corbin. And Chris Carter is at seven points. Jermaine Jackson, seven. Two for Pope, two for Saul. Now, I know he's put some different people in there. I think Booth's in there, and I think Isaac Spencer's in there. You are correct. It's uh, this lineup right now is Derek Pope, Chris Carter, Isaac Spence, Robert Booth, and Cameron Stahl. All right. And it's a six-point ball game, but I think uh, LeMoyne's got the ball. Yes, they do, with a minute 16 to go in the first half. So he's saving some people here a little bit, and maybe he's don't want to get any foul trouble going on. And Well, Chris Carter uh, thought about trying to steal that. Not quite. Now they got to stop him. Here it goes. Knocked away by oh, Stahl. Stahl. And then uh, Pope uh, hit it to Pope, and it went out of bounds. Well, Stahl did all he could. He didn't have really time to make a great pass, but Pope, I think, just wasn't ready for that. Yeah, give him credit. Stahl's a smart player. Yeah. And you try to lob one on him or sneak around behind him, and he'll notice that right off. One minute one minute to go, 35-29. They're going to shoot a three out of the corner, and they're going to miss it. Rebound Spence <laughs> after it bounces on the floor. Here comes Carter down, and he is going to shoot a three, and it is good. Wow. That hurt. 38-29, Panthers. We're at the 35-second mark of the first half. Panthers by nine. They get it to Hawkins. Baseline. Oh, boot, boot. And settle down now. We can go for one. We don't do it. Huh? And Spence takes it up and in. That's that one. Okay. Go ahead, then. That's one. 21 seconds, and he's going to penetrate. Shot up. No good. And they get the rebound back up. Reverse lay in. No good. And then Spence comes out with it. Call a timeout. No, we're going to get it down here, and it's going to go to Carter. We got eight seconds to go. We got six. He five. wants to drill it. He's going to have to shoot it. He's going to shoot a three, and it is no good. Oh! No good, and it's 40-29. The Panthers make a big push late in the first half, and it's up by 11. We'll be back with the halftime stats. 